What's going on, YouTube? We are doing a four-star tier list. I've always wanted to do this. And as someone who doesn't have their four stars built that great i think i'm probably the most qualified to to rank all the four stars now i just want to get this out of the way no tier list that you will watch on youtube is 100 correct apparently i mean everyone thinks that if you make a tier list you're completely wrong and to some people you will be right but these are my opinions these are my chat's opinions it's not gonna be 100 perfect just be respectful okay otherwise let me know in the comments down below what you think of the rankings in a respectful way but anyway let's get into it we're gonna be doing s a b c d obviously d standing for dog water and s standing for super duper you know i want to base this off of like usage should you use this four star should you build this four star character you know what i'm saying off the bat amber is up first i think d is a little harsh i've seen some really good ambers before i was thinking more c ish Baron Bunny might as well be non-existent, <laughs> I feel like. She's obviously one of the first characters that you get when you start the engine, and she's not, like, horrible, right? Barbara! I kind of want to put her in B. She's an amazing healer, dude. If you have her at high cons, I think, you can pretty much revive a dead character in Spiral Abyss. That's pretty pog. She also is better with hyper or with bloom now. Sorry. I'm going to keep her in B. I think B is a solid. I think you should build her if you need a really good healer and you have no one else. She shines in that department. Or if you need a bloom driver for Dendro, she can also be very good if you don't have like Nilu or something, right? Beido. A tier. I mean, all electro units got a buff pretty much, right? With um, Dendro coming out but Beto, i feel like has always been good but a little bit underrated to a lot of people i mean she's got a cool counter got a shield she's powerful i think she's really good oh benny s tier dude benny is s tier easy no clap it's his birthday today by the way there's a reason why everyone says he's a secret five star he is just that good if you have benny you need to use him you need to build him you will thank me later i promise you that he buffs your character's attack he can heal very well and if you have him at c6 dude i mean all your pyro units just go up dude his utility is just so good he's perfect i think okay chong yoon i haven't used chong yoon in a very long time i'm thinking b tier because from what i've seen and what i remember he's pretty powerful for a four star cryo unit you know and especially if you have enough energy recharge on him dude i mean it's just constant i think if you are starting off the game and you have chong yoon you should use them that's what i did when i first started off diona a tier a tier dude i used her pretty much up until i got zhong li which was late in game dude she has really good shield she has very good cryo application as well she heals very well being an annoying character and i'm sorry diona mains her placement in the game i think she's very good and she's not that hard to build there's like four piece no bless you can even do emblem if you want to i've seen some dps dionas before but as like a healer shielder she's very good obviously her shield is not the strongest but you get it up so much that like there you go yanfei she can be powerful now i think what holds her back a little bit maybe is being a catalyst user so the way yanfei works is she's obviously she shines with her charge shots because the more you do your autos you get these stamps or these sigils and then when you have all three you do a charge shot and it's a big number right for a four star pyro character her damage output's really good okay this is what i'm gonna do she's gonna go into a but just know i think she's a plus so she's between a and s for me but I'm going to put her in A. Fischl, with Dendro being out now, Fischl got buffed, bro. Buffed. Uh. She's between A and S for me, dude. And I'm thinking S tier. S tier, even before Dendro. Even before Dendro, you think? Her Electro application is very good. I run her like as like a, a DPS-ish, and she hits, dude, on an Oz, she hits like 20 or 30K. She's crazy. And then with Dendro, just, oh my God, match made in heaven, man. Like she's awesome with Dendro. I think if you have Fischl, you should definitely build her. Dendro or not, she's a very good unit. In my experience, she wasn't that hard to build, to be honest with you, but I really like Fischl. Goru, for me, it's between C and B. 
and I'm thinking more C. And the reason why he's a very niche unit, you really only build him for a Geo team or to buff like your Geo DPSs, like Edo, right? I mean, I've seen some crazy weird Goru builds, but like, I think since he's so niche, I think C. I'd only build him if you like real, if you, if you run a Geo team or if you need a, like a, a buff for your Geo DPSs, you know what I'm saying? Kaya. I just recently started building Kaya. I never realized how good he is. I'm running him currently with a C6 Benny, a Shenha, and a Kazwa. He outputs a lot of good damage, dude. With his ultimate ability kind of being like Pyronado for Shining Link, kind of like a Cryonado. Bad jokes, I'm sorry. It's very good cryo application. Very good on melt teams. I'm gonna put him in A. I think if you have Kaya, it took me too long to realize how fun he is and how good he is on his teams. I would say build him. At level 60, at like level one talents, he was already outputting like 15K damage, which was kind of cracked. Lisa, I think she goes between B and C for me. I just learned recently that her scaling is very good. B because Hyper Bloom and Aggravate. Yeah, exactly. If it wasn't for Dendro, I think she'd probably go down a little bit, right? But she is clunky to play in my opinion. I'm gonna put her in B. I think if you have her, I mean, maybe try her, but there are better units out there in my opinion, especially with like Electro and Dendro um, that you can use. Ningguang is a four star right dude i always think she's a five star but then i forget she's in the game i'm getting a lot of b's a lot of b's c's okay i'm gonna be completely honest with you i have no experience with her i want to build her but like geo is just such in a weird spot right now and from what i've played with her she's slow i don't like her play style in my opinion i've seen some good damage from her though from other people so i don't know i'm gonna put her in b she's like a machine gun in c6 yeah but like we can't base all of these characters off of c6 you know not everyone has c6 i'm trying to base this off of early cons like c0 to c3 ish you know noel another geo user i want to put her in a i think she's very slept on though but i've seen some cracked noels dude she like shields she does pretty good damage if you build her correctly right and she even heals right when she does her spinny move like a little beyblade you know just and especially for early game players noel can really help you high a low s she's an a plus unit okay that that's where she goes a plus unit if you have her builder razor razor's very good as an early game unit i mean even late game if you if you like him keep playing him he's very strong like someone said earlier it's like a poor man Sino, right? To me, he's more of a B tier, not a C tier, I don't think. I think he's worth building if you need a character like that. Rosaria, where does she go? I think she goes into A because A, Goth Mommy. Um, she's just a very good cryo applicator, dude. And she raises crit rate. Like, dude, she's awesome. And she's fast. Just a very good su cryo support, crit rate support. She's solid. She's definitely an A, maybe even A plus. I wouldn't consider her S tier though, but I think a Kujo Sara. She's kind of like Goru, right? Where she's really a niche character. She's very good at what she does, but she boosts electro characters, right? So she's very niche. So I put her in C as an overall four star. If you have her at C6, you should definitely build her. Sayu, where do we put little Sayu? Our baby Sonic, B, anima movement, character and healer. That is true for movement. Very good, especially like just exploration. I like that a lot. I'm gonna put her in C. She's an okay unit, I think. Who's next? Sucrose. Oh, bro. I want to put her in S tier, dude. Sucrose is amazing. If you don't have a Kazwa, use your Sucrose. There's a reason why I you see a lot of Sucroses. Sucrosi? Sucroses. Uh, on a lot of like damage showcases, dude. She's the four star Sucrose. Uh, four star. She's the four star. Holy moly. She is the four star Kazuwa. There we go. I got it out. I think she's S tier. If you have a Sucrose, build her. And this is also a message to me. Dorian build her i have her built but kind of like you know what i'm saying toma i used to use toma with hu tao and i thought for the shields because i didn't have zhang li and i thought he was really good but apparently he's not that good f f he's good in burgeon and in scara teams you think so b not that good of a shield but really good in some comps that, see yana that's what i've been hearing his shields are not the best right but like for burgeon and like other team comps i think b is a good place for him you have them do you need it if you do build them if not well, well 
you won't be losing sleep over it. You know what I'm saying? You know, Shine Ling, easy S tier, dude. I'm surprised that Genjin Impact gives you Shine Ling technically for free. I think it's floor four of Spiral Abyss. You get a Shine Ling, dude. She's on the national team. She's just so good. Her Pyronado is crazy. Build your Shine Ling. Just do it. Don't even ask questions. I'm not gonna even tell you to do yourself a favor. No, build her. I'm just telling you to build her. Do it! Another S tier character, Singcho. Very good with the Hydra application. His burst is very powerful and he can even heal you too. But like, bro, put him on a vape team. So good, dude. I mean, he can even technically go on a, a freeze team. You could literally run a Benny, Sucro, Shine Ling, Sing Cho team, and you, it'd be a crack team, dude. They're just so good. If you have Sing Cho, build him. Enough said. Uh, Shin Yan. I have not built my Shin Yan, to be honest with you. I see her a lot on Eula uh, comps as well. In my opinion, Shin Yan is great for early game. So if you have Shin Yan early on, build her. Later game, you just don't need a physical DPS. <sighs> I don't think that'd be B tier. I think that's C tier worthy. Yoon Jin. Yoon Jin for me either goes into A or B. Now, she does not go into C because she can be niche, but not really because she also has more utility. I'm going to put her in A because she can she can boost your attack speed, which is crazy for like a Yato or a Yoimiya. Definitely not lower than B, though. I think she's very good. I think if you have her and you use like Yoimiya or a Yato or like someone, like if you want to boost their attack speed, like and everything, like very good. And I think she buffs damage, someone said too. And you can use all your defense artifacts that you get. Put her on her. There you go. Koki Shinobu is an S tier character. She's the character that I punch myself in the kneecaps for not building sooner. With Dendro, the electro application is crazy with the ring and she heals very well too. And for elemental reactions, She's just so good. And she's fast, dude. Hey, Zo. Maybe A? I don't think he's cr that cracked, like S tier cracked, but he's very good. First and foremost, he's fun to play, dude. You punch people and kick people. That's badass, dude. I think that's so cool. Very powerful, too. But I don't think he's S tier, you know? A tier, mad fun and great DPS. Not S tier meta level, though. Yeah, I, I agree with that. That's a good way to put it. All right, our next one then is Faru. On. She goes into C tier for me because at C6, she is cracked, bro. 40% crit damage. That is so crazy, dude. But she's niche for animal DPS characters, right? Kind of like Garu or Sara. C0 is decent, but she has an energy recharge problem. Like you need to put a lot of energy recharge. The more cons you get, the less ER you can put on her. And when I say a lot, I mean like 250, 280, like a lot, dude. And it sucks that Genshin Impact did that because I'm going to raise my hand. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I spent money. I spent money to C6 her. Was it worth it? I think so. But not everyone can do that. And it sucks that you like put such an insane constellation at C6 for her. And on top of that, she was on Wanderer's banner, right? They knew that Wanderer's banner would sell a lot. And so they wanted more money. I'm, I'm just, this might me theorizing. People were barely getting her. Some people were lucky. But I think for the most part, people barely got her. And so it kind of pushed people to like, maybe spend a little bit more money. I was one of them. If you have her at C0 and you use Animo DPSs like Wanderer or Hazo or whatever, she's worth building for sure. Other than that, eh. Don't worry about it. Kolei. Kolei was great when Dendro first came out, but DMC is better. Dendro MC is like so good. Kolei is okay. I don't like her moveset. I don't really like her Dendro application that much. C tier. But Kolei could be a good backup if you need another one. If you don't have Nahida. With Nahida out now, Tainari, Yao Yao even. I think she's at the bottom of the totem pole for me. Okay, who's next? <laughs> Dory goes into D. I'm not hating on people who like Dory, but like there's just better units, dude. She's just not really good at anything she does. There's really no need for her. Candice, D tier again? another D tier character Candace have you seen her feet have you seen the beauty that Candace is oh, we're getting a lot of B's C's and D's 
is. So she's in this range right here. Now, let me get your reasoning, chat. There's honestly no need for her kit for hydro infusion. Yeah, it's a little weird kit. That's weird. Like the hydro infusion, like why? Do you think Candace will be the character that like is she's ahead of her time maybe? And she's just not ready for the current slew of characters? Arguably the role Candace is designed for, her off-field role takes full advantage of her kit to provide the on-field character with hydro infusion and a normal attack buff. So then that means she would buff like what? She'd be a good buff for a Yato, a Hydro Eula, which we've seen before. But I'm guessing her buff is not that great then i'm gonna put her in c layla layla a tier you think a tier really great shield and you can help with cryo res that is true doesn't she technically have like the second best shielding in the game or is that was that misinformation she is the second best shielder that's actually really good i could agree with a tier i used her for a little bit i used her with my wanderer and the cryo application is pretty good too i would say if you have a layla you probably should build her honestly i think she's a solid support yow yow our last four star she kind of goes i think a what do you guys think a b i'm getting a lot of a's and b's and some s's i would say a tier and not s tier and the reason i say that is because she has to be on field a lot to be healing and to do all that stuff right if you switch off of her it, it ends her burst right and it ends her like skill which is a little weird so you, it's for her ultimate yeah, yeah yeah so you have to be on field for it but she's very good i'm not saying she's bad you got yao yao build yao yao i just built her and i like her a lot her heals are very good too she heals your whole team dude as long as she's on the field and doing the damage don't switch off of her which is why i put her in a tier i think that's our four star ranking what do you guys think i think again chat there is no ranking out there that is perfect for everyone it, it does not exist there's no way to make everyone happy this is my personal opinion. This is my chat's, most of my chat's opinion. What I want this video to be is a general guide and a general information, mostly for new players. I mean, veteran players or in the theory crafters who are above my pay grade know a lot more about these characters, but I want this video to be more of like a new player guide as to like who you should keep on your radar to build if you get them and who maybe not so much you know like a general guide so i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to say bye to youtube chat and then uh let me know in the comments down below what you agree with what you disagree with and please be respectful again i'm not trying to hate on anyone here there you go there it is i hope you guys like that